Hey guys, Eric here from the Barbecue HQ, and uh, I know you guys were sharing our post yesterday of the 1050 that is now in stock. So it sounds like they are shipping the dealers nationwide. Um, I told quite a few people that, um, let's see here, and if you guys got any questions or anything, go ahead and uh, pop it up there. So um, anyway, so yeah, here, here's the 1050. Uh, we've been kicking around, uh, built it up, and so far, very impressed. It's, uh, like I said, we got in stock here at the Barbecue HQ. Um, go online, order it from us. We were free shipping anywhere. But it, like I said, we know there's a bunch of dealers that are now getting these in stock. So uh, very cool to see them finally ship out. Uh, the 560 on the other side here was taking, you know, it, it took like eight months for it to finally hit us by the time it shipped out. So anyways, uh, so people are asking, size different? Yes, it's bigger. So you've got 18 inches of depth versus 15 on the 560, uh, you've got 28 inches of width. Um, so overall it is 1050 if you have all the porcelain shelves in it. Um, so like I said, the bottom is 18 by 28. Um, the lid is gigantic on this thing. It's this huge clamshell lid and it's heavy. It definitely has some mass to it. It has a total different feel than the 560 when you pick it up. Um, this top shelf, so if you look when it's closed, the top there is level with the hopper. And when you open up on the inside, so you figure with the double wall, you've got almost a good four to five inches of, of height there on that. So um, if you guys are asking questions, I apologize. I don't see anything coming up here. So uh, let me see here. Ch -ch -ch. Anyways, so, um, but if you guys want to pop a question up or two, we'll, you know, we'll be sure to answer. So, um, now hopper side, hopper wise, it's the same size as the 560, exact same size. Um, they did move the handle off to the side here versus on the front here on the 560. So I noticed on the 560, you would pick it up and you kind of catch that little bit of heat. So it's nice to go ahead and pick that up off the side and, um, you know, uh, not get burned when you have that crazy amount of charcoal in there. Um, so the front shelf, nice little setup there. Definitely like that. Um, the, uh, sorry, I'm getting text messages like crazy. Uh, uh, front shelf is very nice. So you have a little bit of clearance between the handle there. It doesn't sit exactly on the handle. Um, about three inches of clearance. So, so not too bad there with that. And then the side table, they've made some tremendous improvements on the side table. Um, so this is a lot sturdier. They've added these hooks here. So a lot nicer of a hook and you got the little hook down below on it, but they've added on the back side here, they've added this cool little storage, uh, door and, um, overall really cool. So the same tray set up as before there. And, um, yeah, so that's your quick run around on this. So they did add this really cool, I like the channel setups in here. So if you take a quick look, sorry, looking through the camera this way, the, um, so it slides and it locks forward, slides and it locks back. Now your second shelf, so these are seven and a half inches on the top and then down below is a full 12 inch, but there's a little kind of quarter piece that pops out the back there and you can pop this front piece uh, back a little bit. And again, uses that same little channel there. Um, they did add a little flap to the inside on the pro port. Um, and then other than that, everything else is kind of the same. So again, really cool stuff. We are impressed with the 1050. So definitely built heavier, definitely has some more solid mass to it over the, the 560. Um, your wheels and everything down below are the same. They've added a solid shelf as opposed to the expanded metal shelf on the bottom. And uh, go there. So uh, Dave, how many probes do we got? So same controller, you got the four. Let me see how many it comes with. So we got power cable and it's like, are they just doing one probe? Arvin, do you know if they're just doing one probe in this thing? Uh, that's all I know is it's burning. Yeah, so it looks like they're just doing a single probe in it. Um, but obviously the capability of up to four there. And like I said, same, same exact controller. So, uh, like I said, we're selling them online on our site, the Uh, they're doing free shipping and like I said, other dealers across the country should be doing the same thing. So if you guys got any questions, hit us up at the shop directly. Um, so overall size difference, Ryan, are you talking like great size or are you talking like the, the footprint of it? 
I guess we can measure that. And I'm going to see if I can flip this around. <laughs> so let's, let's do the 560. What do you got there? Yeah, let's go that way. So the 560, you're looking at... Uh, just round up to 54 inches. Yeah, 54 inches. And then over here, we are looking at... Pretty good on that side. Yeah, you're good there. You're looking at with the knob sticking out 60 inches. Yeah, so so Ryan, the overall size difference on the interior, height-wise, it's pretty much the same. So I mentioned er earlier, but you've got 20, uh, sorry, 28 inches of width. And then you've got 18 inches of depth. Um, so again, your overall square footage you get, or square inches, you get almost twice that uh, with the different shelf and uh, configuration. And I think it's largely because they added, you know, this little piece in the back, so you get the full 12 inches versus the seven here. And these guys, so they count that. Like these are only like four and a half inch on the 560 here. So if even uh, they're, f yeah, so they're like five and a quarter inches on these little porcelain guys so that's where the calculation is coming from on these so 560 is everything in here in stock configuration and 1050 in here in stock configuration but i mean it's it's pretty good size guys i mean you look at it compared to some of our other you know pellet grills we got in the shop here the big 36 inch stuff it's you know comparable so it kind of reminds me of the memphis pellet grills where you got the multiple the three levels of stuff um really neat like that and then i said like up top here you've got there's a substantial amount of room on that top shelf so it's probably close to what you're getting on all these levels all the way across if you go there so yeah it might be all the way so damn it <laughs> so anyways but yeah like i said the hopper um hopper is the same exact size we measured it um identical and I see they got a little, a little hook here. I'm not sure what that guy is for. Probably just another place to hang stuff. So yeah, I like it a lot. It definitely has a, a lot more rigidity and um, better overall feel for, you know, than what the fi 560 has. And, you know, it's gonna cook pretty much the same. If you look at the baffles down there, it's, it's a bigger, a bigger baffle that comes across um, than this guy. But either way, I mean, Good job, master build on it. It's uh, pretty cool. I think I call it a game changer. Called it a game changer from the get go. It's cool to see something in this price point that has this capability. So, um, I'm overall impressed. So that is that. I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for this, and um, yeah, I'm I'm impressed. It'll, it'll probably find one of these in my backyard soon <laughs> a little spoil here at the shop having everything so leg peg is for the damper plates Ooh, dave that is a good call oh check that out dave kudos to that one good thing oh yeah they're all different size check that out so i don't think the uh i guess those work on the um yeah on the 560 Nice, that's cool. Uh, ash bucket, yes, ash bucket. Uh, let's see, is it the same ash bucket? This guy pulls out from, this is a 560. Yeah, it looks like it's the same size. Identical. So the ash bucket on the 1050 just pulls out on the side here. And let's see here. And on the front on this guy, but it's it's still got the same back uh, the way the tray pulls out on the back. So same setup here. Oops. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I guess I never I haven't played around with the 560 to see that it's got the same uh, same deals. That's funny. I've thanks for pointing that out, Dave. Like I said, I've I've cooked on the the 560 a handful of times, but that's a cool cool feature so yeah good good either dave on that one so uh yeah if you guys got any other questions that's it um met the hopper uh dave the hopper is the same exact size so we measured it it's um what, it's six by eight by 23 so same same exact sorry didn't tape measure out here live videos 
yeah, six by eight and a half. So they're calling eight hours of runtime on this guy. Oops, missed it. There we go. Yeah, so 24 inch. Side by side photo. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll post something shortly of the side by sides. So um, you can see here, here they are. So what clearance do they have on the top shelf and lid? So um, yeah, so it, it's like four inches of height here on the top shelf. I know that was a big question. I've addressed it a few times in the video here, but so I look, so you can see the lid closes identical to that hopper height and you figure double walled, it's, it's about there. So, so you can see the height, you know, that's what everybody was kind of getting confused on online. So you have that whole area there and uh, it's all good. Keep asking questions, all good. So, um, so there's, there's a considerable amount of height. Like I said, it's, it's uh, maybe not as much here. So there's like five and a half inches between top, bottom, second and third. And from that top to the top of the lid, you're probably looking at, um, um, you know, maybe a little less, probably four and a half. So, but it's definitely worthwhile. Have the bottom of the hopper for burnt coals and wood chunks should be bigger. Um, yeah, I mean, I, again, I, I, I don't have a whole ton of time on these guys. So that's the same. Um, I mean, you, you guys have been using it in here. Um, I mean, we've been doing a lot of shorter cooks. We haven't been doing like the big brisket cooks and everything on it, but um, yeah, I mean, we haven't had issues with it filling up. It's probably the bigger, bigger stuff. And um, you know, I, I guess we, we use Fogo charcoal. We love Fogo charcoal, which burns super clean and B&B uh, &B charcoal. So I'm sure the quality of charcoal that you use has a tremendous difference with it. Um, and uh yeah but other than that i mean everything's this, you know topper is literally the same they just move the handle off to the right side um you know everything else the lid um the the major difference i would say so like it's the same thickness it's just a it's just a bigger deal so uh dan let me see about the um let's see here See if they've redesigned the grate. No, it's the same. I would say it's pretty much the same grate there, Dan. Uh, looks like the roach history is available on the, um, yeah, I see the holes there. So if that's what their intention is with that for the roach history, um, I mean, that's the 560, so it's got the same hole. So yeah, somebody will probably figure out the roach history on this thing in the short while. The only, yeah, I guess it would work. You drop into there. Um, yeah, see, they've already got the screw holes getting ready for the rotisserie there. So, um, Craig, available in Canada, not quite sure. Don't know. We're in good old uh, Southern California here. So, like I said, they just rolled out here. I imagine they're going to be in Canada soon. Um, how much bigger is it than the 560, longer or taller? Uh, Wesley, are you talking overall pit size? Or are you talking? Um, uh, are you talking cook area? So overall, so you got about sixty inches of width on the master built, or sorry, on the ten fifty, and then you've got uh, like fifty three on the um, on the small guy, and then overall depth on it. So the cooker depth is definitely more. Um, let me see what we got here of the great size, I should say. So great size, you got eighteen inches of depth. And we're looking with the front shelf, you're probably 26, 27 inches. And we are, again, doing this one-handed. Yeah, you're like 20 on just the grill itself. So, um, like I said, the grates itself measure to be 18, 18 on the interior. Uh, Terry, are you tempted to come with the rotisserie pieces? No, I haven't heard a single thing about the rotisserie on this, but then again, I didn't think we would see the 1050 until the end of the year and it was showing up yesterday. So, um, yeah, 
Um, I am not sure. We'll, we'll ask our reps. Um, our reps are usually really, really good about keeping us informed. And uh, like I said, if you guys don't have a dealer nearby, we can uh, ship these out free shipping on our website, thebarbecuehq.com. Um, we just finished shooting a YouTube video. We just got to get that up and get that edited. Um, yeah, so the temp is right, left, top, bottom. Yeah, we'll. Uh, I don't know if we'll fire this guy up. Steve, these are, I, I mean, it, it's going to be pretty similar to what the 560 is. Um, I mean, it's very similar in design. I mean, if you look underneath, so let me show you here. So if you take a look, same baffle setup, it's just bigger. So I did see a question about the racks. Let me see if I can do that. The shelves come out. Yes, the shelves do come out. So let me go over the second shelf again. You've got your base shelves, what I call your half shelves, your small grates, are going to be, um, they're seven and a half inches, and there's that little piece back there that fills it out and gives you a full foot width on that middle shelf. And then the top shelf, you know, let's see how much clearance you got. Um, I mean, yeah, so if it follows this line, you can make these shelves bigger. Um, the bracketry on them are... Um, a really cool setup so check this out so it slides forward and it locks into place out very cool the piece here sorry if you pop that out this second shelf will will do the same exact thing it'll it'll go back more so i really like the options that are in there um super cool uh dan two packers on the bottom yeah i think so um well let me go grab a packer so <laughs> There's an easy answer to that one, Dan. <laughs> we got some big boys in here. There we go. Here's a 12er. So not too bad. So there you go. There's a 12 pound brisket. It's happening, guys. 12 pound brisket, and it's just barely going to. It'll close with it. Of course, that'll shrink down. So yeah, you, you could probably fit two in there. And then middle shelf, no problem there. Even on the top shelf, we got it. There's plenty of room. So yeah, it ain't hitting. So um, yeah, overall, pretty cool. So there you go. We got 12 pound brisket, easily fit four in that bad boy. I would not sweat that if you got really creative maybe you had some 10 pounders you can go a little sideways on it so this is your good old creek stone brisket right here good 12 pound brisket so yeah totally do it so um yeah good stuff i'm super impressed by this so yeah for the 300 price difference um are you gaining a lot yeah they've added a lot of cool things so again for those of you that didn't see you got the little door here in the back to keep your cables and stuff, and um, everything else is pretty similar. But the lid, big difference in the lid, definitely some more weight, some more mass to it. And um, can the top shelf move down lower, like onto the bottom level? Is that what you're, on the next level? So, so the top shelf, let me show you how these shelves work. So the top shelf and the one part of your lower shelf are identical. So here's your little kicker piece. That's your little kicker piece there. So if you wanted to add two of that double width, your seven and a half inch, um, you're good to go. Uh, Michael, yeah, we did get covers. So curious if you guys got them in Texas. Um, cover. Again, it's a, a little bit different trying to figure that rack out. So, um, but yeah, so you basically have two of the same identical grates, whether you're gonna, ooh, actually let's see if that'll fit up there. Let's see. I don't know if that will work. Oh, you know what? I'll go the other way with it. So you could probably actually order another one of these pieces. And that is your key to the size, because this bracket, the bracket's the same, whether it's top or bottom. I 
Uh, I guess, yeah, so never mind. I take that back. It's a different bracket design on the top and the uh, little, so. Let's see here. Can you pull top shelf out to the end and see if you can close the lid so you can have two 12 inch racks on the top and the middle rack. So yeah, that's what I'm playing with. So I lied, this middle bracket here is actually different than the top bracket. So I thought I could get it to work. It's like super close, but there's a little bit of a different design to it. So um, this guy here, that piece drops in there and that's your 12 inch. So like I said, you got a seven and a half inch and then this little kicker that I guess is, well, four and a half, so. Uh, Matt, uh, barbecue HQ, the barbecue HQ.com, T H E B B Q H Q.com. We've got it. So, um, so we we're doing free shipping there, Matt. So, um, Tim top shelf seems so high, maybe for ribs. Um, I, you know, it's the same height. So I think just to keep it consistent, um, you know, that, that five and a half inches is your sweet spot. We've been building grates for years and, you know, smokers. So we always aim for five and a half inches, five and a half to six inches in that distance between, um, you know, between stuff. So it's, uh, so Tim, if you're asking, like, it seems like it's close, you actually have four inches of height there. So when you close, so here's what our reference point is. Check out the top of the hopper. Joe, this is 797, 797. So, um, so if, anyways, if you uh, check the top of the hopper, it's the same as the lid. So when you open it up, you look at all that room there. We measure it's, you know, this is a double walled lid. So you're gonna lose a little bit, but you're basically looking at a good, you know, still that five inches or so. So anyways, um, I'll keep rolling. You guys got questions, uh, fire away. Oop, sorry, I'm getting crazy. So. Yeah, so that's exactly it. I know a bunch of people were freaking out about you know the, the height of that, but there's more than enough room. And if you just watch, I did a the brisket in there, and we closed that brisket up, no problem, no problem at all. So, yeah, looks can be deceiving. It's a total different design. So if you guys have been used to the 560. Um, Chris, good question. The vent. So the vent is integrated into the lid. So let me show you there. So if you see that, your lid, your vent pops out right there. So hopper, same size, same size hopper. Uh, nothing has changed with the grate in there. Um, so it's the same exact setup. So let's see, Dave, I wonder if the four inch rack needs to go in first on top and you have the seven inch. Yeah, so it's um, it's a total, total different bracket. So if you look at the, the bracket here, you have like two steps and this is the middle shelf and that's for that half piece. So there's a little extra piece there that this guy doesn't have. So I tried to pop that in there. So, um, as far as, like I said, the only change that I have seen to the hopper is the location of this handle. They moved this handle from here to there. Other than that, everything appears to be identical. So there we go, the official bang test. <laughs> Metal walls look different at the bottom of the hopper. Let's see, Dan. What do you guys, you guys are watching this much more closely than I am. I'm trying not to fill my knees. Mm, what do you see in there, Dan? So. Yeah, so that's that's round on the old guy. Like, like if you look here, it's a little more round and square to the back. Is that what you're talking about? And then the 1050. A little bit more, a little bit different. I do see there's, if you look here, maybe they just need to get more airflow in. Um, 
that was this oh no I'm, I'm sorry i i've got the uh the pieces in that's why maybe let's see no it's the same it's just bad lighting in the shop so poor lighting we'll attribute it to that so all in all i'm impressed i like the the hopper lid opening in the new direction that's a that's a good part to it and um that is that. So again, we've got them in stock at the Barbecue HQ. We can ship them. Um, so jump online and get your orders in. We've been selling them quite a bit today. So uh, free shipping, $797. we got the covers in stock as well. And uh, where do the meat probe cables go? Good question, Dave. So they have added a grommet here. So same grommet as before. There. and a little swing trap door right there. So that's just to close that up a little bit better. So why they went that route on this versus the other, I have no idea. Um, above the grate and the hopper, Jason. Um, that section immediately above the grate and the hopper, been burning out people. Which area are you talking about, in the hopper? So like, right? there oh maybe that's what dan was talking about earlier Oop, there's it's got the good old chinese oil on it so there is a different let's see if i can turn my light on there we go so it looks like they've gone to a heavier metal down there uh jonathan the controllers are, are the same so I mean, our new one, it's hard to tell. Like, I don't think they've changed the metal there. I know the, the, our shop model or the, our, our demo that we have, I, I know it was a different metal, but we've got like, that was like serial number five on that thing. So, um, Terry, we're seeing only one probe uh, in the 1050. So that's all they gave but you get the really cool door back here. So we've got the probe and power cable storage. Bam, cool stuff. There you can see it's a little bit bigger, a little bit beefier. The lid is definitely heavier. Um, you know, I think it's all pretty much the same gauges. You know, the difference is you got just the smaller section there and this, you've got the whole entire lid. I mean, it's a lot more metal behind it. So let's see how they're beefing stuff up. And I think just this handle alone, this is a very, very solid fill and handle here. So this is cool. Like I said, I, we're pretty stoked on it. Silver thing on the leg above the wheel. So this is a really cool thing they added. Um, it's just a peg and those are your dampers to close this thing down. So they added a little peg so you don't have to go hanging off the other side. Um, it's the little things that can make a big difference. So got somewhere to put those guys. So this one, yep, Mark, it is the same as the other. So we run up these things off an inverter. Um, you know, if you get the right plug, just match up the connectors. Um, I've ran mine off of like a 1500 milliamp hour, $30 battery pack. So, um, yeah, same exact. I mean, your fan, just cause it's bigger, it's not going to consume any more power other than maybe the fan running a little bit more, but like that's totally minuscule amounts of difference of, uh, power, you know? So obviously with this over pellet grill, there's no igniter. So you don't have that. There's no auger. Um, you know, a pellet grill on average is like 60 Watts when it's up and running with no igniter phase. So not much, but, um, yeah, this thing's pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. You still see the brisket peep, peeping up and in the back. So, so we counted four briskets. This is a 12 pound brisket we've got here. You can do two on the bottom and one on each level. Uh, Dan, no, grease pan is the same. That's one of the kickers. So same size grease pan. I know that's one of my gripes on it is that it's small. But uh, I've also 
have just thrown a five gallon bucket underneath there and let it go straight in the bucket. So that works. So check it out. Like I said, we got them in stock at our store. Uh, we got four here in store. We can ship some. And, um, and uh, yeah, like I said, barbecuehq.com. Uh, we've got them in stock. We can drop ship, free shipping on them. Um, bottom grate dimensions, uh, 18 by 28 is what we've got on that bottom grate. And then you get 12 by 26 here and seven and a half by 26 on the third level. Um, Carlos, that's the vent. So we're seeing that brisket there. That's what the vent is on it. So that's the vent. It integrates in with the lid there, as opposed to the fixed vent. So, Jarrett, yes, we've worked hard. Our store is. Uh, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. Um, we haven't fired it up yet. I imagine, I mean, it's going to be the same controller. It's going to be the same controller that's in the, the 560. So nothing, nothing there. So <laughs> yeah, imagine the flare ups on that one. Yes. The old flare ups, you know, speaking of flare ups, people have complained about this, but this is currently my favorite pellet grill, but I've, we've actually had more issues with the master builds burning up than we have the Weber's. So take that for what it's worth. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we're, we're here in Southern California. If you guys haven't checked us out, we're the barbecue headquarters located in Simi Valley. Um, probably one of the most eclectic barbecue shops in the area. Um, Meadow Creek, Yoder, everything else, Twin Eagle pizza ovens we've got gigantic trailers out back so is the exhaust vent still having a, yeah jason um i'll get back to that yeah master built like we were shot i honestly thought these things we weren't going to see until the end of the year because we heard about this thing we placed our order and like 10 months later they showed up so we placed our order for this a long bit ago and um they showed up yesterday. They, we, <laughs> then we got the invoice today. So it's kind of funny how that works. Um, so Barry, the exhaust vents still have an opening when the lid is opened. Um, what the heck? Sorry. Um, I'm not sure what you're, what you're saying. Is there a, like a gap in between there? Yeah, it doesn't rest exactly on the, on the back of the cooker, if that's what you're asking, Barry. So yeah, it sounds like these things are shipping. Um, they're starting to hit dealers. Um, again, really try not to plug us. But I'm, I don't, whatever. <laughs> if you guys shop our store and support us, we appreciate it. But if not, no big deal. So we are, you know, like I said, we're, we've got these available to ship. Um, we're doing free shipping on them. So you can hit us up and we will gladly ship you one. Um, so to answer your question, Barry. <laughs> So Jonathan, you're looking at 797 for this guy, $797, and then 597 on the little guy. So that's gonna be your standard pricing throughout. And we, we do have the covers for them. So um, so they're saying eight hours of burn time. Uh, Jonathan, <laughs> other Jonathan, um, 797 for the 1050. That's the retail. US retail on it is $797. Um, so same size hopper. They're claiming eight hours of burn time on this guy and 12 hours on the 560. So same exact size. Of course, that's going to vary. Like I said, it depends on what kind of charcoal you use. Briquettes, lump. Um, we use Fogo, Kamado Joe, lump here, and then BMB briquettes. And totally different cook every time with each of those as far as the, you know, the burn uh, capacity. So, yeah, it's not, it's not like a pellet grill with a 40-pound hopper. You're not going to get the eight days worth of cook time out of it but um i'm a believer of you got to go check these things every you know few hours anyways i never leave a cooker alone for you know 12 14 hours completely unattended i like peeking in seeing make sure everything's good and going from there so yeah front shelf is foldable i got a nice little plastic bumper on the front of it and it folds down 
Facebook, and I'm sure somebody will be making a um, accessory to that shelf, make it a little bit bigger. Master built doesn't do it. Maybe we'll do it. Um, yeah, same same temp gauge as far as I can see. Um, handle's definitely different. So the lid is definitely heavier, but it's just a bigger lid. So overall, a little bit better build quality. Um, and so it looks like they are gearing up for the rotisserie there. And as they are here, I guess I just never paid attention to that on the, on the 560. So your three brackets. So we'll see what they got coming with that. Space for items on the top rack of the 1050. Yes, so this is the biggest, I think one of the biggest things that everybody was hitting us up when we posted a picture yesterday. So if you look at that, you see the clamshell design of that lid. Um, so I just had a brisket in here, but you have you have five inches, five and a half inches between shelves, between bottom, middle, and top. And then when you close that, you have a good five inches there. So your, like I said, it's just that clamshell design of it. When you see it sitting here, you're going, that's looks stupid, right? So, but the reality is the top of the hopper or the top of the, the cooker lid is level with the hopper here. And therefore, when you close it, you've got yourself a good, you know, five, five inches or so on that top shelf. So that top shelf is totally usable. Um, not, you know, not at all close to the top of it. So maybe a little less than what you get on these levels, but um, a full brisket on there is no problem. I would say a pork butt up there, no problem too. So anyways, uh, if you guys got any questions, uh, later on, I'm going to wrap this up. So we are working on a YouTube video. We will get that up shortly. Uh, as soon as I finish editing. And, uh, like I said, we got them in stock at the barbecuehq.com. Go online. We can, uh, we can ship anywhere. So, um, check it out. Thanks for all the support. Thanks for the love. And if you guys got any questions, don't hesitate to hit us up. So have a good one.